I'll be the first to admit, I took some classes in college. I thought, why do I have to take this? I will never use this, and I didn't. But I assure my students to take my classes that I promise them if they stay in the fields that they're in, construction management, civil engineering, drafting, architecture, I promise them they'll use everything that they learned in my class, and they do. So our department is architecture and engineering design, and I teach mostly the civil engineering side of our design. I oversee the Israel project. I'm also the director of SkillsUSA here at Utah Valley University. On the other side of this wall behind me is a trophy case, three trophy cases that are nothing but national medals that students from UVU have won. Those medals start in 1973 and go right back to this summer of 2024. It is so fun to be a part of that and to watch our students go back and compete against the best of the best when they hit the national competition, which was in Atlanta and will be for the next two years, they're competing against the other 49 best architectural drafters or carpenters or cabinet makers. And to see these kids win first in the nation, even top three in the nation, year after year after year, says a lot about our faculty and about our programs, our curriculum. Our Israel project is always on the plate. Our architectural students have been designing the new visitor center, and that's been a, an ongoing project. It evolves and it changes. But we also have a beautiful, beautiful mosaic floor of a Byzantine chapel from about 500 AD there. And it's exposed to the element. The walls have been long since removed and vandalized. So our architectural students have also been designing a protective structure that might go over that Byzantine church to, to protect it and uh, keep it out of the elements. When they first asked me to be involved with the project, I thought that's just one more thing. And I am so swamped. I wear a few hats at UVU. And uh, I thought, I don't know if I've got the time to do this. But as we've gotten involved, it's fun to watch it make a difference in the lives of these students. A student is not going to remember exactly what assignment they did in one particular class on a Tuesday, Thursday section 15 years ago. But the Israel Project, they'll tell you everything that happened on that trip as if it happened yesterday. Me personally, it has opened up a lot of uh, avenues and it's opened up a lot of connections I would never have had. I've given presentations all over the world, Tokyo, Japan, uh, in Israel itself at the Hebrew uh, University in Jerusalem. That would never have happened with me just teaching drafting here at Utah Valley University in Orm, Utah. In the 33 years I've been here, it has changed a lot. Literally my first year, most everything was drawn manually on a drafting table like we're sitting around in this room. Then all of a sudden they invented some software. Just as far as surveying, surveying's really changed. I'm lucky to be one of the ones that teaches a lot of hands-on equipment related classes. So we're using LIDAR scanners, we're flying drones, we're using advanced survey instruments called total stations which have laser capabilities. All the tools that these construction management students and civil engineers are using and experiencing out on the field, I don't want to be teaching them with something that was done 40 years ago, they're not gonna see it when they hit the job market. So that's the beauty of staying up to date with our technology and our equipment. Those students are using, handling, and experiencing the exact thing that they're gonna see when they're hired for a company. And you get that reward when they come back and run into you, they say, you were right. I used everything that you taught me in that class. So I can say that our surveying classes, our uh, civil design classes, very hands-on, and those projects that our students are doing are the exact projects they're gonna do day one when they're hired. I look back at Wilson Sorensen, the very first president of this university, and he was a president for 30 some odd years at UVU. And they would always ask him, 35 years, that was a long time. And he just joked and said, I'm a slow learner. <laughs> and it took him that long to get it perfected. I'd like to think that I've figured it out after a few years, 33 years. Uh, but there are still things to learn. There are still things I screw up. We all do. You got to be able to admit it when you make a mistake. It's okay if a student asks you a question to say, I don't know the answer to that. But what impresses them is when you walk in the next day and say, I found the answer to your question. Now they know that they mean something to me, that I took the time away from the classroom, probably at home, and did a little research so I could come back and answer the question they asked me. I always love it when a student asks me a really challenging question. I hope when it's all said and done, I've made a difference in the world. I hope it's making a difference in their lives. It's, it's getting them a, a job, a career, and hopefully something they'll love and stay with. <laughs>